So guys, we have another table for you that just came out today called Exploding Kittens Pinball. A pinball cat catastrophe. And, um, wow. Look at that nice looking poop there. <laughs> oh, man. Ooh, is that like a little watermelon? What is this watermelon thing? Is that a taco cat? So I gotta say, this is probably one of the cutest pinball tables I've seen so far today. Um, that is part of, uh, you can get it in the Pinball Game Night Collection 1. Comes with three tables here. Oh, look at that. I love those 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 kittens look like like yeah uh, they remind me of like the Pokemon Doug Trio a little bit. I love this artwork. So let's go here. Hit the vortex on the on the upper playfield for a skill, skill shot. Okay. Oh wait a minute. Okay. That's a hard skill shot. Whoa! Look at this upper playfield here. So you have to, the only way to hit the vortex is through the upper playfield. That is cool. Love these pop bumpers. Look like they have like the William style. That's a cool looking rail. Kind of twist around like yarn. Oh, you got another flipper here. Right there on the top right. Oh, what's in the middle here? You have some like... Looks like there will be some targets that come up there. I just want to check out all the views here for... Okay, this is the better view. View to... These little taco cats. Oh, whoa, that's cool. They got like... When you hit the slingshots, looks like meat. <laughs> it's like... Taco meat's coming out of there. Never heard about this game that it's based on, but this looks like a pretty cool table. Oh, look, a rainbow! He's like vomiting rainbows, you see that? Also, I noticed that that upper playfield reminds me of something that I've seen on like uh, Zakaria Pinball. Very similar in some ways. Don't like this music. You know, this table, we've gotten a lot of interesting, like, cartoony vibe tables, which have been great, like this one and My Little Pony. So you got, uh, you believe Pinball FX has, a, has something for everyone. You got the old Williams tables for those who like recreations of classics. You have these for, like, the younger generation. Uh, you know, My Little Pony, this one, um, what is that one? Garfield tables. And you have, like, Star Trek originals that were released today. Just amazing. Oh, look at this. You have, like, a little, um, yarn that acts like a, like that magnet in, um, in junkyard, that is really cool. Okay, oh, okay. I know how to hit the skill shot now. Should have timed it better. See the future. Let's go. Now, I'll be honest, I used to not really be into original tables or anything that wasn't Williams, you know, or Gottlieb. But I am really liking what they're doing with these originals and just pinball is more than, you know, just the name of the of the table. It's the design, it's the feeling you get when you play it. <clears throat> okay. Oh.
And then of course you have Pinball M for the mature audience. There we go, we hit the Vortex. Whoa. So I just want to say great job by Zen Studios with all they're doing. Thank you as always for uh, letting me be able to showcase these awesome games to the pinball community. Um, diffuse. That... Oh, look at these! Are these like sandwiches or pop tarts? Okay, hit the bumpers. I like that. Got a little laser beam here. Oh. <laughs> okay, we gotta get two more sandwiches. Boom. Oh, come on. Kick back. Kick back. Oh, wait. Ball saved. Oh, man. So the top spells rainbow. <laughs> Light catermelon. Okay, this is awesome. So it is like a, it's a watermelon, but it's a cat, a catermelon. And you know me, guys. I love my wool Nelly table, so I'm all, all about watermelons. Multipliers raise. Okay, so you got two times. Like these poppers here, you can see little cats on top of them. Oh! Oh, I beat my friend's record. Wait. No, I need to do more. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go again here. I like this skill sh <coughs> skill shot here. So I got some collectibles here. Okay. Oh, nice. Let's go. Hit the spinner. Try this time. You know, when you think about tables like this that are very like. Uh, you know, playful and friendly vibe tables. It's really nice because, you know, in life sometimes you have so much like serious things going on, but whenever you can get away and, you know, go into another world like this pinball table. Kind of, kind of returns you, brings you back to the ground, you know. Oopsie. Ball lost. <clears throat> Look at that little goat there. He's goaded. Oh! But this feature here, this yarn, string, yarn on a string. I've never had cats, I'm talking about cats, but uh, my neighbors have cats that like roam around the neighborhood and I always thought that was so cool about cats, how you don't have to, be, they don't have to be on a leash, they can just kind of roam, they do their own thing, they're very different than, you know, dogs. But I've always been a dog person. But I also, I like cats. Whenever I see cats in my neighborhood, I'm always, you know, kind of seeing what they're all about. <laughs> Sometimes they lounge, like, on my porch in the summer. They seem like very curious creatures. <coughs> You know, always exploring. 
<laughs> Oopsie. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Still have a ball save. Guys, thank you again for watching me play um, this Exploding Kittens Pinball Cat Catastrophe Pinball FX. Uh, this is now available on the... Um, it, they it included a three pinball pack, I think called Game Night. So if you like this table and Terraforming Mars and Gloomhaven, um, definitely check that pack out. But as always guys, thank you for watching. And hope you uh, have a great time playing these tables. Till next time.